Hello, Doc here. Today we are going to see how to create interactive presentations instantly without hyperlink. What is interactive presentation? I have a menu like this. I click on one of the topics, go and show all the slides of that topic, come back to the menu and then continue from there. All this without hyperlinks. Let's see how it is done. Here I have a presentation with multiple slides, some for Word, some for Excel, some for PowerPoint, and I also have a summary section. So I want these four topics to be a menu, but I don't want to add them manually, and I definitely don't want to put hyperlinks manually. This is a beautiful, revolutionary, powerful feature called Insert Zoom. There is only one option active right now, Summary Zoom. Go with that. Now it will ask you, which are the slides where the main topic is changing. So in our case, we have Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Summary, four slides which are broad topics. Just click Insert. Now notice what happens. It's teaching you how to use this Summary Zoom. You say, got it, you can go through it later. But essentially what it did is after the current slide, which happened to be the first one, it added another slide, which is the summary zoom slide. It has already picked up the look and feel of the first slide and these are thumbnails based on that. So now when I run this presentation, it understands what to do. It will go to that topic, show the topics under it, come back and it just continues on and on. So what happens when I go to the last topic? So I go to summary, what next, thank you, it still comes back. So this becomes your mainstay of interactivity during the presentation. First thing you must understand is behind the scenes it used a feature called sections. When we started, we did not have sections, we just had a long list of slides. Now what it did is whichever slide you chose as the beginning of the topic, it added a section just before it. Now what can we do to customize this menu slide or the main interactive thumbnail slide which got automatically created? First thing is, if you go and change something in the original slide, the thumbnail dynamically changes which is really nice. But more importantly, when you click on this menu, you get a zoom ribbon tab. This has a lot of options. For example, if you want to change and maybe you don't want a particular section to be added to it, no problem, you can customize it from here. Change image, which image? So it applies to individual image. So if you have the whole thing selected, this is disabled. But if you select one or more images, you can change the image to whatever and then it will change it accordingly. So I'm going to change all three images to an icon. Not very useful. Ideally, if at all you want to change it, you should have a different one for each object. But that is extra work. So might as well keep it original where you can actually see the thumbnail of the slide. What else can we do? So if I remove the return to zoom option let's see what happens remember i have excel followed by powerpoint in that order if return to zoom was on after this slide is finished it would have gone to the menu but now let's see what happens i'm clicking on excel slide one slide two slide three and now instead of going back to the menu it will just continue to PowerPoint, but even there it shows that it moved from section to section. You can change the look and feel of this menu from here. These are called zoom styles, which are similar to picture styles, and you choose whichever makes sense. Center shadow rectangle or drop shadow rectangle looks nice and professional. You can also decide not to show the zoom background. Zoom background means the actual background of each slide. You can either show it or not show it. Generally, it's a good idea to keep it open. And in order to customize the look and feel even more, we have borders and all kinds of shape effects, which are 
common across all objects in PowerPoint. So that's how Summary Zoom helps you in creating an interactive presentation instantly without hyperlink. That's it for now. See you next time. Take care.